Hello everyone, this is Aaron from Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Um, just to let you know, um, for about the next week or so, um, I don't know how many videos I'm going to make, if any, um, because both of my uh, daughters will be here. Um, I'm going to pick my, uh, my, t my oldest daughter from the airport at 6 a.m. And at some point tomorrow we're picking up my youngest daughter as well um so i'm gonna be spending a lot of time with them um and if i can sneak in a video here or there i'm i might but just letting you guys know i'm not uh nothing's happened or anything like that so uh yeah but i'm gonna try to go do some more magnet fishing with them um, if the wet, if the weather permits. Not these next couple days because it's supposed to be in the 40s, but uh, next week sometime it's supposed to be in the 50s. So those days we'll probably go magnet fishing. And uh, I don't know. Don't know what we're doing because there's not much you can do. Everything's closed down. But... Uh, so I want to be spending some time with them. I mean, they might go by themselves or something to do something. So if I can sneak something in during that time, I might, um, if I think about it. Um, but uh, even though there's not much that you, we can go do, I mean, I guess the stores are still open for now. And, uh, yeah, so might go shopping or something like that. I don't know if there's mu any museums or anything that are open or arcades or anything. Um, there's this arcade by my house called Mar Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. It's, uh, it's a really cool uh, arcade. Um, it's like an old-fashioned arcade, and they got a lot of novelty items in there. Um, they got like some old arcade games from like the early 1900s, and they got like a whole bunch of pinball machines and some newer games, and my kids just love it there. So... Um, we may end up going there. Um, there is a Holocaust museum that's not that far away, so I might take them to that. Um, if, but I don't know if that'll be open, if it's open, or if the arcade's open. Um, if not, we'll just sit home and watch some movies. So, um, yeah. But today's video... Um, Will be a mail day from Mike uh, Zahan Zohan, um, and that is TCC Baseball. Um, if you guys are not sub to TCC, please give him a sub. I did give him a shout out already, but I'm giving him another one. So, but that is not my shout out for the day. Uh, my shout out for the day is the card closet. Um, very friendly guy, very cool channel. Uh, give him a sub, please, if you can. Um, and I want everybody to be safe out there, but don't panic. You know, this, this will pass and you just got to stay calm. And yeah, I mean, if worst case scenario, you have to stay home and you know spend time with your family watch tv whatever hey that's not the worst thing as long as we get we can get some food and everybody's okay um then that's what's important so i mean i'm sure this won't last too long just be patient guys and keep calm um so yeah just give him a sub and uh now i'm gonna open this up and see what we got I do know what, what he was supposed to be sending me, but it feels like there's a whole lot more in here. So, um, yeah, I won some uh, some coins, like card coins. You guys will see. Um, and it feels like there's more in there, so we'll see what's in there. Give me a second, guys. Okay, first we'll take a look at the note. Hey, Aaron, here are your winnings from my giveaway. Thanks for waiting. I added some more stuff. Mike from the Collector's Corner. Um, yeah. So, 
he added some of his uh, world famous team packs. He uh, left me two, um, two Indians team packs, which is fine with me because I like the Indians. Um, and then he left these uh, coins that are um, from 2017 Ar Tops Archive. So we'll open the coins first and see what we got, and then the cards. Give me a second, guys, while I open the first set of coins. First two coins. One is J.D. Martinez. Here's the back of it, what it looks like. I think these coins are cool. So if anybody has any of these and they don't want them, I'll take them. I think these are really cool. You know those little uh, poker chips that they have? I like those too. So there's that one. And then, well, they come two to a pack. And then the other one that was in there is Kyle Tucker. So, and that's, I guess that would be his rookie coin. So... There you go, hats. There's a Kyle Tucker coin. Um, kind of cool. So now we're going to open the second pack. Give me a second. Next next coin is Christian Yelich. It's a good one. I think he was a runner-up to an MVP votes this year. This past year, I mean. Probably would have won it if he didn't get hurt. I don't know, though. Bellinger had a really good year. And then there's another rookie, Rowdy Telez. So one more thing of coins. Give me a second. Aaron Judge. It's the next coin. That's a really good one. And then Clayton Kershaw. Those are really cool, so glad I have those. Now we're going to open the team packs. We'll open this one with Junior Ortiz on it because uh, the Kenny Lofton one, uh, well, Kenny, Kenny Lofton's better than Junior Ortiz, so I will go with that. Give me a second while I open it. All righty. We got a 1993 Upper Deck Junior Ortiz, a... 1996 Tops, Manny Ramirez. That's a good one. Man Ram. A 1990 Upper Deck, Greg Swindell. A 1991 Upper Deck, Felix Fermin. A 1995 uh, Collector's Choice Special Edition, Albert Bell. Good player. A, I think this is a 1993 Tops Archives, Al Rosen. A 1994, or no, 1995, sorry. A Collector's Choice Special Edition Stat Leader Kenny Lofton card. So another Kenny Lofton, really good player. A 1992 Upper Deck, Jesse Orozco. Seemed like he pitched forever. A 1988 Tops, Brett Butler. A 1988 Tops, Dave Clark. He was a coach for the Tigers. Ken Schrome, 88 Tops. 88 Tops, Tom Candiotti. A 1994 Stadium Club Junior Ortiz. A 1991 Tops Doug Jones. Pretty good reliever. Look at the stash on that guy. Wow. Some people can grow some pretty awesome stashes, I tell you. A 1992 Upper Deck Joel Skinner. A 1998 Upper Deck, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Travis Fryman, a 1997 Tops, Chad OJ, a 1994 Tops, Reggie Jefferson, 
1993 upper deck, Carlos Baerga. He's pretty good there for a while. 1986 tops, Mel Hall. A 1994 stadium club, Mark Clark. A 1992 pinnacle, Carlos Baerga. A 1988 tops, Tom Candiotti. A 1993 Tops Archives, Luke Easter. Never heard of Luke Easter. Let me see the stats on him. 417 games. Yeah, he didn't play in that play in that many games. Probably why I don't know him. A 2017 Danny Salazar. A 2014 CC Lee. I don't think I even have this card. I don't think yeah, I've never seen this card before. Don't even know that player. A night uh, 2014 Nick Swisher. Uh, reti since retired. A 1998 or not 1998 1988 Greg Swindell. A 2002 Fleer Tradition uh, Diamond Debuts of Ben Broussard. Never seen these cards. It's pretty cool. Now that's an insert. It's cool. Like that card a lot. A 1991 Glen Allen Hill. A 1991 Upper Deck Jeff Manto. A 1994 Tops Felix Fermin. A 1993 Opeachy Kenny Lofton. It's three Kenny Loftons. That's cool. And the last card is a 2017 Bowman Francisco Mejia. It's a good one. Good, good uh, Bowman card there. Now we'll do the second pack. Give me a second. Okay, first card, 1995. Um, Collector's Choice Special Edition, Ken, another Kenny Lofton. Good player. 1993 tops, Dave Malicki. 1990 tops, Andy Allenson. A 2016 tops, which I don't have this card either. Giovanni Soto, never heard of him. It's cool though. It's a rookie I don't have. A 1991 score, Joel Skinner. A 1994 stadium club, Jeff Treadway. 1994 tops, Carlos Baerga. 1994 Stadium Club Jeremy Hernandez. 1991 score Corey Schneider Rifleman card. 1993 tops Derek Lilquist. 1993 1992 classic draft picks Paul Shuey. 1992 upper deck. Or 1993 Upper Deck, sorry. Um, Youthful Tribe card. That's Tomei, Sandy Alomar, Albert Bell, Carlos Baerga, Kenny Lofton. Now that was it. That was a team. Cleveland Indians of the 90s, the mid to late 90s. A 1990 Brooke Jacoby. Uh, 1991 Upper Deck Sandy Elmar Jr. A 1998 uh, Pacific Crown Royale Jarrett Wright. That's a beautiful card. Got to show you the back of that one. See, man, that's that's a late 90s card. That's pretty. That's awesome. 
I'm telling you guys that late 90s, early 2000s cards are where it's at. Um, this 1993 Ted Williams, Larry Doby card. It's cool. I love Ted Williams. A 1993 Upper Deck Reggie Jefferson. A 2016 Tops Michael Brantley. A 1994 Stadium Club Wayne Kirby. A 1995 um, Upper Deck Collector's Choice uh, Special Edition Albert Bell. A 1994 Stadium Club Jeff Treadway. A 1989 Upper Deck, their first Upper Deck set, Scott Bales. A 1988 Tops Le Indians Leaders card, Corey Schneider on the right, Joe Carter on the left. A 1993 Upper Deck, Mark Clark. A 1993 Score Select, Carlos Baerga. A 1991 Score. Deion James, 1989 score, Andy Allenson, a 1990 Don Russ, Joe Carter, Joe Carter was a really good player, should be in the Hall of Fame, a 1991 score, Joel Skinner, and a 1990 Bowman, Corey Schneider. All right, um, that's it. Um, like I said, I want to thank, uh, TCC, uh, please give him a sub. Um, also give the card closet a sub, both really good channels, really good content. Um, I think you'll like them and, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, stay safe this weekend. If I don't see you, um, don't talk to you guys. Um, yeah, hope everybody's doing good and doing, doing okay. And, uh, just be kind to one another, be patient, um, be calm out there and, you know, everything will be fine. Um, yeah, that's it. That's about it guys. I'm out of here. See you later.